Hello again. It's like 7 a.m. Still in the Catskills. I'm gonna go see uh, Catterskill Falls. It's fucking piss cold. It's like 13 degrees. And, uh, you know, I slept relatively good in my truck over there. Relatively good, you know. Woke up a few times shivering. But you just turn on the truck. You use uh, a, an old coat. Like this leather one I'm wearing. Uh, for some a little, little bit more warmth. And then in the morning, you know, you put your uh, socks up on the heat. And then you warm those up. So I'm wearing three layers of socks underneath everything. So yeah, we're going to see the falls. Here we are, Calmy a lot of folia. It's the first heath shrub I've seen on my trip. Beautiful pinkish white flowers. These are all flowers in May and April. Maybe more like May and June here. But very nice. You know, they can put in, you know, this is probably a $100,000 bridge and trail maintenance, but they can't fucking take care of the damn invasives. So right here we got Artemisia vulgaris, one of the worst invasive plants in the area. And uh, they obviously don't cut it at all. Look at the size of this thing. So it's it's about the view. It's not about the environment. So that that's my take. Artemisia vulgaris mugwort. From Asia and Europe. And brought to soothe the feet and to smoke. Because it's uh, an herbal remedy. It's a fucking awful plant. Nice little grove of eastern hemlock. Tasuga canadensis. You also got occasional Vegas Granifolia, American Beech, uh, Bechula papyrifera, the Paper Birch. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Paper Birch. There's also Yellow Birch. Here we have Hamelinus, Virginiana, or the Witch Hazel. These little calyx, oh, I dropped it. But uh, these little guys, these yellow guys have little yellow pluffs, little hairs, little yellow flowers in uh, November. And there's the seeds, beautiful subshrub. I meant sub tree. This thing can get pretty big. I've seen them over 30 feet tall. It takes a while. A sub shrub would be the opposite of a small tree. It'd be a tiny shrub, like Chimophila maculata. Welcome to Catterskill Falls. Look at that. That's fucking awesome. Carving through uh, sandstone and shale. Awesome. Look at that ice on there. Here's the top of the falls over here. I wonder if this is all ice. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like a few people have stepped. Yeah, look, people have even stepped over here. Isn't that awesome? I'm not going towards the edge. It's too scary. Here we have Vicinium angustifolium or the low bush blueberry. Isn't that nice? Nice taste little berries on these. This uh, this looks like some kind of rhododendron. Okay, at the top of the escarpment of Catterskill Falls. Isn't that nice? You can't have a historic monument without your invasive plants. Here, we got the ever-present Berberus thumbergii, my least favorite plant. It's uh, one that's sold at box stores like Home Depot, and it's highly invasive, and it's probably on every other house if you live in a neighborhood. You'll likely see this at least once, you know, in a, in a neighborhood block along the east coast such a common plant they're either red green there's yellow forms it's it's awful they're highly invasive birds eat those little red berries they shit them out they fucking grow like crazy nothing eats them so there's no caterpillars or fungi or bacteria that knocks them back a little bit like the native trees so they end up just they they, they don't have any competition the spiky deer don't eat them as much and then they just get big they seed everywhere and then you know, they take over. I have videos. You've seen them. Of entire forests just with this plant. So, it's it's awful to see. Here we got Viburnum lantanoides. Or the hobblebush. Hobblebush viburnum. White flowers in April and May. It's kind of like a flat umble. They're nice. They're quite common up here. In the mountains. 
underneath the paper birch and the hemlocks. Here we have a tree in the genus Populus. No leaves, so I can't really tell the exact species, but it's definitely a poplar. They're cool trees. Here we got a nice Quercus rubra, or the red oak. First one I've seen on this trip. More common along the coast. Now I don't know what this phenomenon is called, but uh, it happens when ice in the or water in the soil becomes ice, and it just kind of grows these crystals that spread out of the ground. And you know sometimes they carry a little bit of a uh, substrate with them. But they're kind of fun to smash. You know I give that a smash out of ten. It's very nice. They're fun to crush. The crystals. Isn't that nice? Weird ice. Getting closer to the bottom of the falls, you can see all the kind of pinkish red soils derived from the sandstone staining the uh, stairs here. Alright, first we're going to go under the falls, then we're going to go down these stairs. Here we have a beautiful moss called Hylocomium splendens, or the stair step mosses, or stair step moss. One of my favorites, one of the most beautiful too. Just uh, in the uplands especially, it just forms like these wonderful, really large mats. One of my favorites. Hylocomium splendens. That looks cold. It's interesting. Uh, I'm watching the ice. It kind of comes out of, uh, I don't know, these little gaps. And it seems to like freeze and change its course. Can you see that? See, this little blip right here, let's see, maybe lowering the brightness, firing? I don't know, you can barely see that, but it's obvious from my angle. Like, so it kind of flows down, and then, like, that kind of layer freezes as, you know, it doesn't get as much as the wind blows it. It's kind of acting like, uh, lava wood. You know, this is like a spatter cone. That's cool. Right here we have a cancerous drone floating about. You can kind of see him between all those sticks. That guy right there, see a little drone buzzing around? I thought it was the wind blowing. Nope. Just a little annoying drone. We just could throw a rock at it. That's gotta be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Is that how they do it? They hold a camera out? It's stupid. Now we're taking a quick uh, coffee and breakfast break. It's uh, I'm starving and I need coffee. So yeah, bye.